Biggie Boy is here, folks. Jarzinho Rosenstrike, the first native of Suriname to compete in the UFC. Decorated kickboxing career, but really took his training to that requisite next level when he signed that UFC contract. He said, essentially, instead of training twice a day, I'm now training three times a day, and his UFC results certainly speak to that commitment. Undefeated, calling out guys like Francis Ngannou, not a lot of people burning up Mick Maynard's phone asking to fight the Predator. That's Rosenstrike in a nutshell. We'll see if he can get the power going early here. Oh, So here is the other worldly mixed martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has bullets in his corner. Yeah, Coach Habib is as undefeated as fighter Habib, but we love getting the opportunity to see Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with Hasbulla in his corner. And if Hasbulla didn't have any value, probably wouldn't be in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for the former lightweight champ tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> champion fighting out of the red corner presenting the reigning defending undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world Habib the Eagle Mimago Meta Herb Dean third man in the octagon tonight he is undefeated. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the Use her. Serve him up. Go get him. Right, so perhaps a harbinger of things to come as the kickboxer stays upright, successfully defends the first takedown attempt by the rest. Defending the first takedown, but he's got more coming in his direction. He's got to do exactly what he did. He needs to press pause, repeat, pause, repeat, making sure that he does the same exact thing every single time that allows him to stay upright. Nice shot there by the champ. Rosen strike getting in. Now he's trying to get deep. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, how about that? He gives up on the submission. Looked pretty tight to me. Big elbow there, Lance. Ground and pound strike there now. He's got to be careful here. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. 
He feels like he's winning here. by the champ. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Big ground and pound. Great defense by this fighter. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Jab there by the champ. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Meta. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now. And they two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. So five minutes down. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loot punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Well, good job defensively there to block the strike by Biggie Fox. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early this year. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice land with that punch, clearly taking advantage of his big edge and reach. Fighters separate. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Oh man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. That was nice. Side control now. Three minutes to go. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. You cannot sit in this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. That will land it clean. Oh, heavy shots raining down. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before he gets given up. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Oh. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. 
All right, so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut. Oh, going for the arm bar now. That might be tight. What a tight arm bar. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise there. I loved it. I loved all the grappling oh, that was wow. there. But fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. Well, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, big elbow. Oh, big hook. off of his back as he lands a strike from the bottom position. Khabib's in half guard. Massive shot from the top. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. Oh, Rosen strikes eye is starting to swell shut. Making all these shots count. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nurmagomedov. Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Nurmagomedov's got the full mount. Well, this is not football. Targeting is Nurmagomedov's attempting a triangle here. Let's see if he can finish the deal. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. About two minutes here to go in round. Oh, big shots raining down. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Rosen strikes face would have to be classified as a mess. Cut on his cheek, and it's only getting worse. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, great reversal to top position by Rosen. Side control, he's pretty safe there. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Oh, how about that strong reversal on the ground? All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That cash is getting serious. You knew he was going to be blood, all right? You need to protect this cut, though. You know he's going after it. Protect all right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. Ready to fight. Ready. 
Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Our right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the top. Oh, man, he's affecting the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Not a lot of those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Nice transition. Nose and strikes cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Magomedov's trying for a submission here. Oh, he's got that submission tight now. Oh, this could be the end of the fight. Looks like the fight is over, guys. It's done. Oh, he's able to get out. Well, good job. It looked like he was going to tap with his left hand, but instead, he bridged off to the right and turned back into him to release some of the pressure on the Von Flucho. Beautiful defense. Big grounding bomb. Oh, man, another strike right on that swollen area. Somebody get the man an ice pack, please. Three minutes. Big combination here of ground and pound strikes. Nice work by Nermago Meta. Let's go. Push, push, push. Get free. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, on paper, it looked like a grappling advantage for him coming in and largely DC. That's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control. He's got it all going to him. He's got it all going, J.A. This is a dream for him. The takedown early. The ground control really starting to wear at the gas tank of his opponent. Nice sub attempt. Oh, it's tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Rosenstreich's eye is almost swollen shut. It's actually swollen shut at this point in time. They might potentially stop this fight if he has vision issues from here. Khabib's going for an arm here. Arms in deep. Somehow he gets out. Great submission defense by this man. It looked like he was done. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, that's the end of the round, and our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's gotta get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep fight. taking these types of shots. Fifth and final round. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Nermago Meta. He's got a good leg kick. There it is. Just misses with the jab. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Big double leg, double change. Like that. Oh, staying busy, fighting off of his back, and he lands. Well, you really hope that damage like this doesn't stay with him throughout his mixed martial arts career, but I'd be okay with not seeing him take another head strike at this point. No, it's so over. You could tell that the fight is done. It's on the ringside position or the corner. Now he's got an arm triangle on the opposite side. 
When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. I'll stop this. You better fight back. Romano Maddox right back to the full mount here. In the half guard. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Right back. Another like one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Nermago Medov. Oh, Rosenstrike's got a bruise appearing on that level. All right, so back to the feet we go after a lot of ground fighting. We'll see if he can rally here late in this final round. John, he needed this. He needed to get up to give himself an opportunity. Now he's got a chance. Does he cash in? He's got to find a way to finish this fight. All right, so maybe he goes for another. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. 45 seconds remain in the round. Doing his best Tony Romo impression. You saw that one. I mean, sometimes you can just guess and it works. That's one of those times. I wish I was smart as Tony. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to. Oh, and there's the final horn. We go to the scorecards. One of the greatest fights that we have seen all year. Well, what a title fight it was, what a showcase it was for this division, but at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you gotta think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 50-44, and 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nirvago Meta! All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the loss column. And if you want to win a decision, you want it to look like this. You want it to look dominant. He looked dominant tonight in all areas of mixed martial arts. There is no question.